Sebastian, thanks very much for, for joining us today. Um, and congratulations on becoming of the uh, chair for ULI for France. What are the priorities for you as the new ULI leader in France? All right, so I have three main priorities for my two years mandate uh, as a chair of ULI France. Uh, the first one is uh, to increase the uh, customer value by focusing on content. One of the lessons learned that we uh, have from the COVID situation is that uh, change is coming. And in that situation, we want to make sure that the decision we do today will work tomorrow. I'm just going to give two uh, small examples. Uh, first is the future of office. You know, uh, we talk about uh, remote office uh, and how the office will uh, uh, react to that. Uh, and the second example is uh, the future of retail with its relationship with logistics. And I'm thinking shopping centers as well as ground floor uh, store. My uh, second priority is to increase ULI French reputation. It's already at a good level, but not there yet at the same level as some other countries in Europe. My third priority, and that may be a follow up to the first two ones, is to increase the membership base of ULI France. You mentioned there the, the current crisis that's created a series of challenges. And at that time, it's, it's more important in a way to be able to share some of the ideas. How important do you think that is for, for ULI and I guess also for, for Allianz and the industry to be working together, um, looking at some of these challenges and finding solutions? Well, we saw that the COVID situation has uh, uh, highlighted some trends uh, that were there before, but uh, maybe were lagging behind or not set in motion. Uh, I'm thinking here about sustainable development, digitization, or even how cities work with buildings. Uh, I think uh, on those subjects, ULI uh, is well equipped uh, to be the reference organization to turn to when you have to think about those uh, topics. Um, three main reasons for that. Uh, first reason is in France, uh, ULI have nine different product councils. So those product councils pretty much cover those uh, trend and subject. Second reason is that we have a, a, mem a membership which is uh, a broad range of uh, activity within real estate, uh, including also some people from private and the public sector. And the third uh, reason is because ULA is a very international organization. It has more than 40,000 members worldwide. And if we think about it, those trends are not specific to France. They, they, I mean, they are global. And if we want to think about how to solve those issues in France, I think getting the reference of how it's done in other countries is, is critical. You also mentioned Alliance in your question, and thank you for that, because this is exactly what Alliance is looking for. Uh, with that partnership with ULI is to make sure that its investments are sustainable in the long run. In terms of the, the practical side of, of ULI, what are you going to be doing in the French market, particularly in terms of ULI and, and bringing members together? So practically, we plan on using much more webinars. We've used them during the lockdown period. Uh, it works and uh, it's a good way to spread messages and to reach to our members. Also, we usually do uh, a yearly uh, event at ULI, a physical event. Uh, this year, we have decided to run a hybrid, hybrid uh, event um, the 12th of November at the Alliance Auditorium. The subject will be the uh, Olympic Games of uh, Paris in 2024, and specifically about the heritage. We will try to address two subjects during that event. First one uh, being uh, what is necessary to achieve success in, uh, in that heritage. And the second question will be, uh, are those investments financially viable? We will have some great speakers. So, and again, it's the 12th of November, Alliance Auditorium in La Défense, be there and see you there. Uh, also, we would like to focus uh, on uh, two groups within ULI France, the young leaders and the next generation. So not only to teach them, but also to learn from them, they are the future. Uh, last, uh, I want to take that opportunity to thank uh, all of our sponsors. They uh, decided to renew their trust in ULI. And for me, it's a good sign that uh, we want to focus on what's going to be our future tomorrow. Congratulations again on, uh, on becoming ULI leader in France. Sebastien, always good to see you and thanks very much for joining us.